Greetings everyone, welcome Chess Advanced and this is a game from round 7 of ECC European Chess Cup and this is a game played between Goturk Chess Sports Club and Turkish A-Line Sports Club and this is a game played between Alexander Dutchenko and Harp Sanar and this is definitely not a long game, this game just lasted for 29 moves but it's definitely one to watch out for as the game was played with the night off and definitely the game has an insane insane move that is just so difficult one to spot but if you spot it it all just makes sense and i'm not going to keep you waiting for long so without further ado let's start with this game bahab sonar is with the white piece and he starts with e4 and we have c5 by donchenko and we have knight to f3 and just d6 going for that sicilian defense and we have e4 just going for that main line and we see a trade c captures knight captures and just knight to f6 but we just get this knight to c3 and a6 going for that knight of variation and we have a4 but just this e5 and now pushing that knight back so you have to move it back either you go for this and maybe develop maybe develop the bishop develop the green castle green side but it's highly unlikely after you've played that a4 move so here after knight to f3 was played we have just h6 and not allowing that bishop to develop that easily so just g3 just going for that queen getting that bishop and castle king side and we have this bishop to e7 just castle and king side as well just preparing to castle king side as well and we have bishop to g2 but just this castles 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 and we have knight to c6 but just this rook to e1 and now after knight to b4 was played now we have bishop to e3 and after bishop to e6 just normal developing moves both players have developed bishop and now both the both players will try to eye each of this king side and maybe hope that other player will make mistakes so here just a5 was played not allowing that b5 move to never happen but definitely that b5 move will be the star of the game and but that too you have to find it at the right time and what i mean by that i'll definitely tell you so here just rook to c8 was played but we have this rook to a4 now developing that rook with the tempo you have to move the knight but here just d5 just defending and also while opening up the line and you this is a threat that you cannot just ignore because now that b4 is definitely coming just bring that piece so here just e captures was played but just this knight captures and after knight captures knight captures now we have this bishop to d2 you that bishop was on attack you definitely don't want to give the bishop pair early on so here just e4 just attacking that knight but we have this rook caps on e4 Donchenko here gave up a pawn but definitely he is going to try and find some nice counterplay for that pawn and Bahab Sunal's rooks are a little bit weird going on this a4 and e4 square so definitely maybe he will have the compensation but he's gonna have to play the right moves in the right order and here Bishop f was played just asking what are you gonna do with this weird rook so here just rook c to e4 was played and here I'm gonna ask you to pause the video and try to find the best move in the position while I give you a couple of seconds so congratulations to everyone who's able to find this move and the move is the one that I've been talking about all of this game and the move is the spectacular b5 and now it might seem like there's a lot of choices because you can go for this on percent, you can go for the straight immediately. So what is the best move here? The best move is actually going for this on percent. And only after this knight captures, now you can see that both of the rooks are under attack, so you're gonna have to trade it. So after the rook captures, now you go for this queen captures, and only after you retreat the rook, now as the rook was under attack, now you go for this very nice bishop caps on c2. And now your queen is under attack, you're gonna have to move a queen to e2. Now you go for this very nice bishop to f6, just eyeing that pawn. And only after you block with this bishop to c3, and but now you just trade bishop captures and bishop b captures, queen captures, and rook to c1, just going for that pin. And after bishop to d3, now you play this queen to e3, just getting this very nice pin in. And there's not many ways you can save that bishop, so only way you can have to play this queen to b2. Now you cannot capture, now you cannot capture because your rook would be hanging. So here, after rook to c6, now you can see that white has a black has a queen and your bishop is under attack and your knight is also under attack and you have a pass pawn on a6 so definitely the one you would have more options in and definitely the one you could push for win and instead if in this position you go for this rook caps on c8 you could go for that but that leads to a draw line as well here after queen captures now you play this rook to d4 and only after this knight moves back now you play this b4 just not caring about that pawn at all and after bishop caps on c2 you play this queen to c1 and after bishop e4 now you play this queen caps on c8 and only after everything's got traded off now you get this position where after king to f8 now you play this h4 and with this equal pieces equal pawns it's gonna be a draw but here instead of all of this here donchenko decide to go for this bishop to c5 and that will simply just not do because here habsonal finds this spectacular knight to d4 and only after bishop captures now you go for this rook captures but now you can see that this pin exists and it's going to be a little bit difficult to get rid of it so here bishop caps on c2 was played just going for that pawn and maybe now you think that attacking the queen and you're grabbing that exchange so definitely you might be winning this game but you have to think again once again for the second time in this video i'm going to ask you to pause the video and try to find the only move in this position that wins the game have at it 
So congratulations to everyone who's going to find this move. And the move is the spectacular queen to a one. I mean, you never actually think of this move. I mean, just getting that queen away from all the action. Because why it works? It works because of this only move with just this bishop caps on. Because now you don't have to move the rook and you're still threatening the knight. And there's not many ways that you can defend it. Because hey, after rook to c5, you have to defend that knight. You play this queen to b3. And now there's too much pressure on that knight, and it's it's nearly impossible to defend that knight. So here, after b5, attacking that queen, now you go for this queen to d3, and now there's too much pressure. Here, taps on b2, but now this bishop taps on d5. And here, Dojenko just lost a piece, but maybe he could set up some sort of a fortress, but it's very difficult. He's still threatening this bishop catches, winning the queen, so you have to move the queen away. And here, queen to c8 was played by Dojenko, but just this bishop to c3, attacking that rook, and after rook to b5. We have this rook to c4, but just this queen to d8. Here, Wahab Sanal played this spectacular rook to g4. And now you can see the problem because it's actually made in 5 and it's impossible to do anything in this position. And with the, even with the best defense, you can play this rook to b1 check, but that's just giving up pieces here. Queen caps on b1, and after queen caps on d5, you cannot even grab that piece because if you grab that piece, it's actually made in 2. I hope you can all see it. This rook caps on g7. And only after the king moves, now you go for this spectacular queen to h7 check. And the best defense in this position is just this blocking with the queen, parting ways with your queen. And even if you go for this bishop caps on f6, now after rook to e8, you play this rook caps on g7, king to f8, rook caps on f7 with the check, king to g8, and now the spectacular queen to g6 check. So, whatever white does in this position after this rook to g4, it was about to be made in 5. And here, Dochenko saw that, and Dochenko in this position on just move 29 resigned the game. And perhaps Sonal got, got this spectacular miniature, and he was able to get this spectacular victory. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll be coming up with an amazing game. Just go, so stay tuned for that.